Welcome back to the Clean My Space channel. My name is Melissa Maker. I am an accidental cleaning expert and I am by no means a musician. That's not why we're here today. We are in my husband Chad's office um, and I say that because he does his work here but he also has drums, guitar, piano, a whole bunch of photography equipment, tons of artwork on the wall and more. Chad kind of keeps a lot of things and he can do whatever he wants in his own personal space. That's exactly why we're here. It's cluttered and it's dusty and it has not been cleaned in a while. So in this video, I'm gonna show you not only how we clean some of these things, but we're gonna go through the three wave system of a very cluttered area that's quite dusty and hasn't been cleaned in a while. You might enjoy this, but I'm certainly not looking forward to it. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and Black Friday slash Cyber Monday is upon us, you should visit makersclean.com as part of your shopping because our entire store is marked down up to 50% off. You will not need a coupon code. And in my hand, I'm holding our beautiful door crasher special, which you will see me cleaning Chad's office with. We've got a maker's mini, a glass and electronics cloth, our duo cloth, and two general purpose cloths. So go check it out, makersclean.com. I've also got a link for you down below. Let me be upfront with you. I am not looking forward to doing this clean. I'm frankly dreading it. And I know that many people feel the same way when they approach a room that is particularly cluttered, which is why Chad felt this was an important video to film. But here's the thing, I'm gonna be applying the three wave system. I know that if I tidy and organize first, that's gonna take care of a lot of the mess that is starting to make me feel overwhelmed. And then I'm gonna work from top to bottom, moving my way from left to right. Now, if I were cleaning my own space, I'd probably clean every item on every shelf, but this is Chad's office and he needs to take responsibility for his own stuff. So I'm gonna be skipping a few choice things to save my own time. But if I were cleaning my own office and I had shelves full of things, I might first think about decluttering those shelves before I go ahead and clean them. And second of all, I would certainly take more time to take everything down, clean it over the floor, clean the shelf, and then replace the item. But I, as I said, you know, I'm a good wife, but I'm only doing so much in this office. In the three wave system, wave number one is designed for tidying and organizing. And the way that we do it is we work around the room like a clock. We divide the room into hours and we kind of work section by section. That way we don't miss anything and we always work from the top to the bottom. So just keep that in mind and we'll start with wave one. I've got two bins here. One is for stuff that I need Chad to look through and find a home for. And one is for stuff that's either garbage or recycling or stuff that has to be put in the dishwasher. Job one, hair up as always. This is gonna be a big job. Now I'm starting just after the door, so let's call this one o'clock. And my goal here is to tidy and get things picked up off the floor in somewhat of a cohesive manner. Because there's a lot of clutter here, I'm trying to make sense out of it. So I'm grouping like items together and I'm finding the most logical space for them. The general rule in cleaning is, especially if you're cleaning someone else's space, that you wanna leave everything generally where it is so people know where to find their stuff. You just wanna put it in a more organized fashion. So for things like memory cards, I found a little home for them. They're just to the right of where they were before. And anytime I find a memory card because they were scattered all over the desk, I'm putting them there. For things like mail and other papers and little books, I'll stack them up on the desk. For empty boxes, I'm gonna put them into a bin for Chad to look through. And anything that I don't know about, like what even are these, those are also going in that bin. He can decide what they are because frankly, I don't even know where to put them. And of course, if you're professionally cleaning, you wanna make sure you're not looking at the documents, you're just sort of keeping items together in the same area and you're grouping them together neatly. One of the things I'm doing here is taking multiple stacks of papers and piles and trying to figure out some way to organize them. And I have to do this because eventually I'm gonna to need to access this floor to clean it. So one of the professional cleaning tricks I picked up is to stagger the piles so that you know how to sort of unpack them at the end of the cleaning and sort of lay them back out in a strategic place so that the person who you're cleaning for, for doesn't freak out. Now this could work in your own space as well. Let's say you have already processed versus not processed documents. If you stagger stack them, then you'll know what was what at the end of the cleaning. 
Now that the desk is done, I'm moving to the credenza behind the desk and I'm using the chair as really a landing spot for all of those piles that I'm stagger stacking. Once you become more proficient at the waves, you'll kind of know what to anticipate. So that's why when I'm looking at these items on the floor, I know that in wave three, I'm going to need access to the floor and I'm also going to need access to the baseboards during wave two. So I'm either going to try and move a lot of this stuff away from the wall or find a temporary home for it that I can then replace at the end of the cleaning. Um, you know, in this office, we actually have a lot of things on the floor that I'm not going to be moving, like the drum kit, the desk, the piano. So that stuff's gonna stay, but for the smaller things, I'm gonna relocate what I can temporarily. This is exciting because I've come to the end of wave one, so I'm gonna move those boxes out of the way. All right, we're ready for wave two because we've worked our way around the room the first time, we've decluttered, the space is looking much more manageable. So in wave two, I'm starting at the exact same point, I'm working my way from the top to the bottom, left to right around the room, just like a clock, and this time I am doing all the dusting, getting rid of any fingerprints, marks, I'm using all my microfiber cloths, basically any cleaning, disinfecting, polishing, that's all happening right now. The reason I have my vacuum is because it is particularly dusty in here, so I'm not gonna be using this on the floor just yet, I'm gonna be using my tools. I did notice when I scanned the room that there was quite a bit of dust and spider webbing, which is why I wanted to use the vacuum with this dusting brush attachment. And I find these door frames, any horizontal surface does get quite dusty. So I'm taking this opportunity to do a little bit of extra work. Another tip I've learned over years of professional cleaning is that not all things are hung up properly or the way they should be. So you always need to use one hand to support an item that you're cleaning if it's hanging on a wall and the other hand to do your cleaning. That way you avoid any breakage. Let me know in the comments what piece of art in Chad's office you like the most and also any thoughts on the wallpaper. I will let you know that when we bought this house, this room, that's his office, was formerly a teenage girl's room in the 80s. You can probably tell by the wallpaper and it was an original Sears pattern. Now these drums, they used to live in my mother-in-law's house and then they went to my nephew and then they stayed in our garage for God knows how long. And now when kids come over, it is like the most exciting entertainment spot in the house. Now this is where having those vacuum tools really comes in handy because you can get into those nooks and crannies using a crevice tool or a soft dusting brush, combo tool, just anything to get at that dust. And especially in areas where there are vents or plugs, you will notice that there is quite a bit of dust built up. Ideally, you wanna switch off any electronics first and then do your vacuuming and cleaning. Now, because we're tackling the actual cleaning during this wave, I wanna make sure that I'm cleaning surfaces. So I'm either using all-purpose cleaner with a general purpose microfiber cloth, or in the case of electronics, I'm going to be using the glass and electronics cloth, and I just spilled out a little bit of my drinking water onto the cloth. I'm going to massage it in quickly, and then I'm going to clean Chad's computer screen just using an S pattern. And of course, this is the right cloth to use because it is flat weave. It will not pick up any debris and it won't scratch. Finishing off the desk, I'm using some all-purpose cleaner and a general purpose microfiber cloth, the S pattern. And I'm going to move on to his keyboard and mouse. The keyboard, I'm just giving a dry dust with the duo cloth. And then for the mouse, I used the glass and electronics cloth, which was already a little bit dampened. Now, you'll notice that when I stack items on the desk, I'm stacking them parallel or perpendicular to the edge of the desk. That just makes everything look extra tidy. Now, as I clean this back wall, you'll notice I'm working my way from the top to the bottom because that's the way that dust falls. And this is what it looks like. The surface of the credenza, I'm moving all the items off, cleaning the surface, cleaning the items over the carpet, and then replacing the items neatly on the credenza. And then on this wall here over the piano, I'm using my vacuum to clean the top first, then I'm cleaning the art. So I'm again, working my way from top to bottom. Now for the piano, because it's got a high gloss finish, I'm using that flat weave microfiber cloth so that I don't create any scratches. And it's damp with a bit of water, that's all I need. 
Again, the items that I'm cleaning, like these two painted figurines that Chad's granddad painted, I'm cleaning those gently over the carpet and then I'm replacing them on the piano. And for artwork, I'm supporting it with one hand and using a dampened microfiber cloth to clean the tops and the front of the glass quickly. So we're at a juncture. We're at the end point of the clock, which puts me at the end of wave two. So a couple of things I want to point out. There are two kind of shelving systems that I left for Chad to take care of himself. As I said, I have my limits. And the other thing I wanna point out is that I did not vacuum the baseboards. And I didn't do that because I wanted to leave it until wave three because the baseboards need a particular amount of extra attention and I'm gonna be swapping out a tool. So I figured I would do that all together. Now for the baseboards, I'm using a stiff bristle brush attachment. This allows me to kind of wiggle out that dirt that's stuck either on the baseboards or that area where the baseboards meets the carpet. You could also use a mini motorized tool if you wanted to do so, but I find non-motorized head is actually better in this case because there are so many wires and I don't want any issues. Now once that's done, I'm moving the movable bulky stuff out of the way and I'm using my vacuum to just get into every nook and cranny. I'm not exactly doing the perfect W pattern here, but because there are so many immovable pieces in this office, I'm just doing my best to vacuum my way out the room. This was pretty much empty when we started vacuuming. So it is a good thing that we cleaned in here and used all the different tools to get a thorough dusting and vacuuming job done. I don't know when the last time Chad cleaned his office was, but I, Despite the fact that I was really annoyed that I had to do this cleaning, I'm proud of the work and I'm happy that Chad will get to work in a nice clean office. I hope that you found the three wave system helpful and useful, but one final thing I wanna do is remove some of the stains on the carpet. So to do this, I'm gonna use a carpet stain remover and a microfiber cloth. Just gonna treat them now that the floor has been vacuumed and hope for the best. Now, to be honest, we are getting rid of this carpet at some point, so we don't care that much about it, but I figured I'd include it in this cleaning because he has quite a few carpet stains and we're here, so why not? The three wave system is an amazing approach to clean any room, whether it's an overwhelming and cluttered room like what I dealt with today, or whether it's a relatively clean room. You know exactly what you have to do at each beat and it gets the room cleaned quickly and efficiently without cutting corners. I've got a link to our three wave system ebook down below. I will also remind you that that amazing door crasher with the five piece microfiber cloth kit is on special for Black Friday at makersclean.com. Our entire store is marked down up to 50% off. So go check it out. I've also got a link to that down below for you. Now, this week's common question, my friends, is what is your thought about carpets? on floors. Do you prefer carpets or do you prefer a hard floor surface? We are going to be tearing this out and putting in luxury vinyl, uh, laminate, luxury vinyl. <laughs> what am I saying? We're going to be putting luxury vinyl flooring down here in this room and the other room that we have just beside Chad's office, which is what we have on the lower level of our home. But I'd love to know in the comments down below, do you prefer hard floor finishes or do you prefer soft floor finishes? For me, I know carpet feels nice underfoot, but looking at that vacuum canister says it all for me. Carpets to me, ugh but I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you wanna learn more about the three wave system and see it in action, because it really is a game changer, you can check out this video right over here. There are a couple ways that you can support the Clean My Space channel. Of course, you can subscribe, which is a great way to say thank you. And you can also check out makersclean.com, which is where we sell all of our premium microfiber cleaning tools and more. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.